Hey everybody, welcome into the first ever episode of 50 Toasts. Woo! Uh, let's do, I'll, let me do a quick intro of the concept and then I'll intro the man. Uh, three years ago, I was in New York City and I realized that I know a lot of the most creative, interesting, fascinating humans all over the place and I just never saw them. A lot of them were buddies of mine, some of them were people I barely knew, some of them I met once. Uh, some of them were poker players I played poker with for like 12 years, but I never talked to them outside of that ball busting stone drunk scene. So I didn't even know who they were. And so I did a thing called 50 lunches and, uh, I made a point of trying to have lunch with one person a week for a year and I made it, I did it. And it was the best thing that I did the whole time I was in New York, not counting the, you know, having the children. Uh, so, uh, I was going to start this tonight with my friend Glenn because I know no matter what happens with Glenn and I, it'll be an interesting conversation. It'll be fun and easy and comfortable. And uh, Glenn had the suggestion that eating on camera sucks. Uh, and I think you might be right. So we have tweaked the 50 lunches theme and made it 50 toasts. And I bring in uh, one of my great friends, one of my oldest friends, oldest in terms of length of knowing him, not in terms of his age. I got plenty <laughs> older friends, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Glenn Grizzard, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Grizzard. <laughs> What's you drinking, Glenn? It's a Diet Pepsi caffeine free with Jim Beam in it. What? <laughs> Jim Beam and Diet Pepsi, but caffeine free Diet Pepsi because I don't want to be up all night. Is it just because that's what they had at the Circle K? Like, what, how did no, you? No, I had to go to Publix. I had to wear a mask at Publix to get this thing. All right. All right. Very Diet. nice. Diet Pepsi's with no caffeine. <laughs> I've got a fat tire. Uh, that's pretty good stuff. Yeah, I haven't had one of these in a long time. This is a good find at the bottom of the fridge. <laughs> um, so what? I've known you forever. We. I was trying to think of my first memory of you. Uh, well, let's do a toast first, actually. And All, right. Then... All right. I don't know Dude, if you're even allowed this... to do this one. Do you have a toast? I'm, I'm thinking what year? It would have been 1982? Oh, yeah. 1982, I think, that we met on. And I'm picturing the field of J.J. Daniel. So. I'm thinking I'm thinking J.J. Daniel, and I'm, and I'm envisioning you in like a Cardinals or a Seahawks shirt wandering <laughs> around the halls. Am I right about that? Yeah, I think I wore a football shirt every year of seventh grade. I, I was going to say, I, I associate you with these kind of quirky, cool NFL shirts. That was one of my first memories of you. Yeah, I think you're off with the cool part. <laughs> Well, you got to remember where I'm coming from. <laughs> Let's get into that, Mr. Chess. All right. Here's to J.J. Daniel. Hey, to J.J. Daniel. Here, here, I don't even know if I'm, allowed to, if I'm allowed to do this one without an Irish accent, but I'm going to try. You ready? Here's to you and here's to me. The best of friends will ever be. And if we ever disagree, well, fuck you. And here's to me. <laughs> here's to me. 